hey hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss about dispatch group which is a part of gcd grand central dispatch now the first thing is that if you read the apple documentation what it says that a group of tasks that you monitor as a single unit okay and if you come down here it allows you to ag aggregate a set of tasks and synchronize behaviors on the group you attach multiple work items to a group and schedule them for asynchronous execution on the same queue or different queue when all the work item finish executing the group executes its completion handler you can also wait synchronously for all the tasks in the group to finish execution so with dispatch group what we can do we can group multiple tasks and then wait for them to finish independently and then once they are finished we can get a notification and then we can do whatever we want okay now let's say that uh, in a typical scenario when uh, uh, you are you know, doing your dashboard page something where you have multiple api call it's that you have to do two three api call and all the api call are independent of each other like you do there is no dependency between any uh, of the api and then all the api call can be done asynchronously okay and then once all the calls are done then you want to update your ui based on what data you receive in that case dispatch group will solve your problem in very efficient manner and this is very commonly asked in interview that what is dispatch group and in which scenario we are going to use it so what we are going to do in this uh, example today that we are going to use this uh, gcd like dispatch group and then we are going to perform our uh, operations in the background and then in asynchronous manner and once the operation are done then we'll come on our main thread and then uh, update the ui now let's see uh, its method so if you see generally we have uh, three method on it one is wait one is enter and one is leave okay so when you use the dispatch group so this enter and leave this like works in a pair so when you enter for any operation let's say that you are starting any api call so before starting that api call you have to call the enter and then once your api call is done now when i say your api call is done it doesn't mean that it is success it's done means it's just that you hit your you get your response it can be either failure or success so once you get your response then you can just call this function leave and once this the number of times you have called the enter and the number of times you call the leave once they become equal then if you implement this notify method then this method is going to get called that hey uh, i have completed all the operation that is assigned to me and then on this method i can update my ui or whatever the things that you want to do okay there is also one method wait uh, which generally we should not use and why we should not use that we'll see once we start doing uh, the real time implementation but if you see what does wait does it waits synchronously for the previously submitted work to finish now let's jump into the coding so for this exercise what i have done i have just created a simple application and what is it's doing that it's using a, a api called uh, open book so if you see this is the open library api and if you search here let's say that if i search ios then it will just search all the books related with that okay no i'm not going to focus on this search part here i'll just actually go to the code and uh, this is the my client which is actually making the api call this i'll just save the link so i'll not going deep inside this what i have done there but this method just fetch the books once the user types something okay now let's say that if i want to initially when this page loads if you see um, by default there was no books loaded okay now as a mobile developer i want to load the books related with ios and android okay so i want to have some initial data then what i want to that i want to write a function fetch initial data okay and my requirement is that i want to fetch the data for both ios and android or let's say kotlin also okay that means that i need to call this function how many times three times right and once i get all the data then only i i want to come here and want to update my ui okay so for this what we are going to do we are going to create a dispatch group object okay so let's first create a dispatch group object so i'll just call it as group 
okay now as i told that before making the api call you need to call the enter function and what it tells that explicitly indicates that a block has entered the group so i'll call here group dot enter okay and what i'm going to start i'm going to start this fetch books so i'll call this fetch books and i'll pass the title as let's say swift okay or swift ui and then i'll just copy this three times let's say pass here android and pass here kotlin okay so before every time this function i'm calling i'm just calling group dot enter so now once i call the center i also have to leave it okay and that leave part i'm going to do inside this function so here what i'm going to do is first thing is that if you see that currently as i was always you know expecting one list so i was directly assigning to my published property now as i have to get initially you no know, three different categories of books so what i will do i'll just create another variable called uh, books which should be again type of array of doc and instead of assigning to the books here i will be appending it so self dot books dot append and then contents of whatever i get from here so detail dot docs okay and uh, we also have to exit so once the call happens let's call group dot leave okay so now i'm entering it three time and every time this call is going to happen then this is going to leave okay so let's just use this self reference here and it is going to update or append the books what it, whatever it will be getting into this books object but I've, as you can see that this property uh, this book list is what i'm using it into my view that means that finally i have to update my this object okay so for that i'm going to use this group dot notify all and then main and this is a block which will get called once all the operation are completed okay and here what i can do i can again take a weak reference here and uh, can just assign self dot book list equals to self dot book okay so once all the api calls are completed then this is going to get called and my book list is going to be updated and then my ui will update okay now i will do one more thing i'll just put few print statements so that we can better uh, visualize this scenario so uh, here first print statement is uh, fetch books started and then i'll just pass the title okay then i will have here completed title okay so that's it i think then we are good and then let's go to content view and here as now we are not going to use this search so i'm just using this on up here and here i'm going to call my function so view model dot fetch initial data okay now let's run this application and see what happens so if you see that all the three call started and then once all the three call completed then only my ui got refreshed okay uh for better visualization i'll just put one more print statement here or instead of here i'll just put a print statement at this stage and i'll also print the number so docs dot count okay now i'll just see the screen uh, that first it downloaded all one by one see the first completed second completed third completed and then only the ui appeared okay 
Now one thing you can see that here the sequence the first was Swift UI then Android and then Kotlin but it is completely Swift UI Kotlin and then Android that means that when we are calling this uh, on dispatch group the dispatch group is working on an as asynchronous way okay everything is fine like I'm getting uh, the call back in the notify and then this entire also working for example if you forget to use this Lee then this is never going to get called see all this APS call are completed but my notified didn't get called because it has called enter three times if you see it has indicated that a block has entered but no block has left and that's the reason that this notify doesn't get call okay so don't forget to leave this line now we also saw one function here that was uh, wait okay and what is say that it will wait synchronously now let's try to use this wait and see what happens now I'll just comment this line and write here group dot wait okay and there's a timeout also if you see it's first started wait and then we'll see the timeout so now let's run it and if you see what happened that all the three calls started like this function gets called but after that no call is getting completed and why because if you see that when I'm calling this fetch initial data I'm calling this on the I, I didn't took any um, uh, like no uh, asynchronous or dispatch queue. I'm just directly calling it on the main thread that means that this group dot wait is also getting called on the main thread and that's the biggest problem of the of this wait function so if you by mistake call this function on the main thread then it will block everything now then how what is the proper or, or I can say in a better way that in how to use this wait function do we can create let's say GCD object so here let's say let Q equals to dispatch Q and then give this example as com dot open book dot Q and then we have quality of service I'll pass this as utility or background which is having a list priority and attributes and this will I can pass as concurrent okay so now my queue is ready and then what I have to do I have to call this function everything on a async okay and then now let's put all this code here and what I'm going to do I'm going to just write a print statement here and uh, here just call that I am completed okay and run it again okay so now I have to do all this thing just a minute okay let's run it again and this time you can see that all the three service calls started and then it is getting completed one by one and then only it is calling this print statement that means that it is blocking still but now it is not blocking your main thread okay for example that if you have a print statement here in this case let's say that I am free then this will get call this will not have any effect with your group dot wait so you can see that I am free will call even before doing anything okay so now at this stage what you can do you can again come back to your main thread so like this and then do the same thing what we did here let's run this app and see this time whether my UI is updated or not and now you can see that again the UI get with all the data and then you have a specific requirement that after a specific time period you should not wait for its execution mode that means that um, let's that if some 
10 second or, or 5 second whatever the time that you are uh, specifying after that it should simply just time out okay and that's the reason that if you see in the documentation here you have this time out so let's use this time out also so here let's say that for example if I use this and I'll just can pass no plus let's say one okay here that it's returning a, a object here and this object is basically the timeout object so I'll just call it as timeout result timeout result and then now you can use this this past timeout result to determine that whether you got success or not so now in this block what I can use I can just run this okay and then here we have success so if it is success that means everything is fine and then I can just upload my book and then if it is failure or if it is timed out then you can just print out that it's timed out now let me just comment this add and put a break here now let's run it again Now if you see here what's happening that it is calling this its timeout because I'm just giving it a wait of one second and obviously this uh, all this three API call is taking some sort of time to complete so before actually it's completing my this function is already getting call and that's the reason that even after success result this is not updating so let me do one thing I'll just increase this timeout to let's say five seconds and hopefully this time by the five second I should have all the data okay so this time it's showing all the result in my case so one thing I can clearly say that it's it will be very rare that you are going to use this wait function so the base thing is that use enter and leave and then just use this notify all to get your uh, notification or to get notified when all the operations are completed okay so hope uh, now you have understood this dispatch group completely in which scenario we can use it and then what are all these different functions too okay if you have really enjoyed watching this video please do subscribe the channel and then leave your feedback it will really motivate me to make more and more videos for you thanks for watching thank you